So what's going on guys, OGR back with another New York Giants video and I did it last week and I'm going to do it again this week because we were competitive last week and they did all of my six things that just didn't lead to a win. So this week I'm going to do another six things, six things we must do to beat the Dallas Cowboys. But before I get into it, smack that like, if you like watching, please consider subscribing and with no further ado, let's get into it. So number one, we need to start fast in this game. And when we get into the red zone, we need to score points, not settle for field goals, score touchdowns against this team. If the Giants settle for field goals, we are in trouble. We leave the door open to come back against us. So I feel like NFL top 10 right now, uh, you know, going through these things. But uh, one is long sustained drives. I want to see the Giants hold on to the football not give a lot of time to that Dallas deep uh, offense, sorry, to get going. Tire out this defense, run the football, um, pick up first downs. But the other thing, is, obviously, this is kind of a two-parter. Uh, I don't want this to make the least uh, list every week, and that is Daniel Jones. Do not turn the ball over. I want zero turnovers this week. Number three. Number three is run the football. The Dallas defense is giving up almost 4.9 yards on the ground. Run the football. I do not want to see more than 25 pass attempts from Daniel Jones. If I'm getting into the 30s or 40s, this is a game we're not going to be winning. Run the football. You can against this team. You should against against this team. There's no, there's no reason not to. And you know what? I want to see us go with the hot hand. Wayne Goldman looked good last week. If he comes out and looks good again, give this man the football. There's no reason not to run the football against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, obviously, if they're lining up eight men in the box, seven men in the box, yeah, audible to a pass play. But I don't want more than 25 pass attempts from Daniel Jones. Number four, Patrick Graham. I'm looking at you. I looked at you last week. You came through. I'm looking at you again. Play aggressive. Don't play not to lose like James Betcher the last couple years. That's what has gotten you in trouble with this Dallas team. Dak going out there, picking apart the zone. Play aggressive. Change up looks. Don't be afraid to play man against this team. You know, people say, no, no, no. They have Gallup. They have Amari. They have CeeDee Lamb. That is your strength. Play to your strengths. Force Dak into mistakes. Make him uncomfortable in that pocket. And maybe, just maybe, we'll pull out a win. Number five, Marcus Golden. I'm looking at you. With O'Shane and Zimenez being out, you are going to have an expanded role as far as pass rushing goes. Well, you want to get that long, lucrative co contract. Well, here's your chance. You are going to see more of the snaps on this team, period. I don't see Carter Coughlin sliding in there. I could be wrong. I've been surprised before. But Marcus Golden, I want to see you have an impact on this game. I want to see you getting after Dak. I want to see you pressuring Dak. And forcing Dak into mistakes. Number six. And maybe this is a little of an extension of one and two. But at the end of the day, Jason Garrett. People have said, you have a vanilla offense. Earlier this week, you said to yourself, I've got to find out what we're good at. Well, you've pieced some things together. It hasn't been perfect. A lot of people don't like it. But you've shown signs. Now let's put it all together because we're going to need to. Because your quarterback is going to get killed if we don't score more than 20 points in this game. I think people will be accepting of things if we score over 20 points and we lose a close game to Dallas, but I need you to draw up something. Scheme guys open like Golden Tate, Darius Slayton, and yes, even Evan Ingram. You know, I got an idea for my man Diggy. Let's use Deion Lewis and Freeman in the passing game, and just maybe, just maybe, we pull out a win. Ah, good old prediction time. So in this game, I do think the Giants' offense turns it around. But I think because they are not a consistent team yet, the defense will let us down in this one. And I do have the Giants losing a close game, 28-24, to the Dallas Cowboys. And I know a lot of people are like, OGR, oh, pick us to win, pick us to win. Guys, we're not a consistent team. I can't predict 
a non-consistent team. You know what the Dallas Cowboys have been? They've been bad, but they've been consistent on offense. Yes, it's taken them to get down to be consistent offense, but they've been the more consistent team. And until the Giants show me some sort of consistency, I cannot pick the Giants to win this game. I And believe me, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. I want to pick the Giants. But the Giants need to show me some consistency. And you know what? For all the people who are saying, Boo, OGR! I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. Because that means the Giants get their first W. And Dallas Cowboys fans at that point would lose their collective minds. Either way, it's been OGR. And I'll catch you on the next vid.